Oh, yeah. Let's keep talking about cannabis, shall we? Because when it becomes legal this Wednesday, you're going to be able to grow it and smoke it in your very own home. But what does that mean for you when it comes to the real estate market? Yes, cannabis is literally seeping into every aspect of our lives. We've got some great real estate questions. So for that, we have our expert, Karen Filiatro, who is joining us this morning. Okay, Karen, so you'll be able to grow it, smoke it in your own home. What can homeowners do? What can't they do? Okay, so under the new legislation, anyone over the age of 19 will be able to uh, 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 use cannabis recreational in their own home and in their own backyard. Uh, and in some provinces, they'll be able to grow up to four plants. And so what does this mean? If you live in a freehold home and you own this home, uh, great. Have a great time. As long as you follow the rules, you can smoke it inside, you can smoke it outside. If you live in a condo, things could change a little bit. So you're going to want to check the rules and regulations of the condo. So as we speak, condo corporations across Canada, hundreds of them already, have actually started to rewrite the declaration, changing the rules and regulations to uh, prevent uh, growth of marijuana in individual units and in some buildings to prevent actually smoking it all together inside and outside of the property. So you're going to want to have wow. to check that. Okay, so that's if you're a homeowner. What if you're renting? If you're renting, uh, well, there's a couple things to consider. So it's not your property, it's somebody else's property. So really, it's what the landlord sort of wants. So there's a stigma attached to marijuana, and so that might be a thing for them as well. But also smoking uh, marijuana is a little bit like smoking tobacco. The smell seeps through the hallways, yes. and it does permeate to some effect uh, the walls and the ceilings, and it's a very difficult smell to get out. And so uh, that smell devalues the property when you're trying to se sell it. If you actually can smell that marijuana, it's not great. And so landlords are going to be actually writing, like they do right now, uh, clauses that say no, no smoking marijuana, no growing plants in the home. So if you're a renter and your landlord says no smoking in the home and your building says no smoking on the balcony, you're out of luck. Wow. Okay, so if someone's in the market right now and they're looking to buy a property of some sort, where does this new world of cannabis filter in, considering things like, in extreme cases, grow-ups that have destroyed property values? I mean, that's an extreme case, but what does this mean now for someone who's looking for a property? What do they need to know? Well, it means more than you actually think. So people don't even realize that this is going to come into effect and actually change how we buy properties now. So already we actually see uh, clauses that are uh, put into buying uh, purchasing uh, agreement of purchase and sales that, that want to know, like, did you grow marijuana in this property before? Because some insurers will actually not uh, insure the mortgage on a property if there was a grow up in there before. And so on the surface, it might not seem like a big deal if you can grow four plants inside of your private dwelling. But if those, uh, if those plants and the legislation actually says that there's no size limit to those plants. If they're done improperly and if they're grown improperly, we could be facing mold, fungi, and the spread of it. And that's environmental risks, that's health risks, and home inspections actually sometimes cannot actually see those effects. If they're covered up, you can't see them. So now more than ever, buyers and their real estate agents and their home inspectors are going to have to be more vigilant, like more than ever before. Okay, so last words for someone who's in the market, either buying or selling. Um, well, um, I'm impartial to what people want to do and what they want to smoke in their own homes, but uh, I, I would be a little concerned as a buyer um, if there was plants grown in the property before, so I'd want to do more diligence about that and try to do an extra home inspection, and I'd also want to make sure that my mortgage company would actually insure my mortgage if I was to buy a property of that sort, uh, and I also would want to know if it's, if it's going to devalue, and if I bought a property that was like a condo where they said, yes, you can smoke in this building, will there be a stigma on that in the future versus a building that doesn't allow it? Ooh, so lots question. Lots to think about. We have no idea how many parts of our lives this thing is going to be touching, Correct. including our real estate. Karen, thanks for guiding us through this. My pleasure. Thanks really so much. Really appreciate it.